To solve this equation over here, we want to find the values of x which will make this equation true so that the left hand side will also equal 0. So straight up I can see there's a factor of 2 in this equation so we can take 2 out of every single term. We're left with 2 times x squared equals 2x squared plus 4x plus 3 and it still equals to 0. So all we did was take the 2, a common factor of 2, out from each term. And now we can actually divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 and 0 divided by 2. Well, this will cancel out because it is equals to 1, so we, don't, we can ignore it. And 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So now we're left with a much more manageable equation of x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals to 0. So our next step is to look at this equation and see if it can be factored. So what we do is look at the number 3 and we want to see if any of the, of the factors of 3 can add up to 4. So right now we have 3 and the only combination is 3 times 1. And this 3 times 1, the 3 and 1 add up to 4, so it can indeed be factored. So what we do is have two brackets like this, equals to 0. We've, when we have 3 over here, we do x plus 3 times x plus 1. The 3 and 1 come from our two factors over here. So if we were to solve this equation, we know that anything times 0 equals to 0. So what do, we, what do we want? We want this bracket to equal 0. So we have x equals to negative 3. Because if this was negative 3 plus 3, it would be 0. So 0 times anything equals 0. And we also have x equals to negative 1. Again, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, so 0 times anything equals 0. So, now that we've done this step, if you wish, you can double check your work by substituting negative 3 and negative 1 back into the equation to see if it equals to 0 on the left hand side. So let's just do that. For negative 3, we have 2 times negative 3 squared plus 8 times negative 3 plus 6 equals 0. So we have 2 times 9 is 18. 8 times negative 3 is negative 24 plus 6. And if this is true, it's supposed to equal 0. So 18 plus 6 is 24, minus 24, 0 equals 0. Therefore negative 3 is the solution. And if we were to check x equals to negative 1, we have 2 times negative 1 squared plus 8 times negative 1 plus 6 equals 0 so 2 times 1 is 2 8 times negative 1 is negative 8 plus 6 equals 0 so 2 plus 6 is 8 minus 8 is 0 so 0 equals 0 negative 1 is the solution so our solution to this problem is x equals to negative 3 and x equals to negative 1